All right, uh, I apologize for the quality and everything, but I literally threw this together in like two minutes and I'm using my cell phone um, just so that I can get this done and show you guys real quick. So basically you just take off each screw I even have the cell phone attached to the top here, so I might be shaking. My bad. This is a brand new, brand new top trackball everything. Basically the same ones that were sent with the machines over there. And so I don't know if this one's going to have the copper issue or not, but with the amount of issues we've been having with new trackballs, I'm pretty damn sure it does. So this is kind of like a blind opening or an unboxing as you will. Uh, to even show the fucking the hap guys that uh, I think it's okay to release balls to IT like this or for IT not checking them themselves. But then again, vendors always need to check and clean their balls before they put them in production and and this is why let's open this bad boy up so if you haven't seen the inside of a trackball yet or before basically you take it off by the, those four screws that I showed you originally then you take these little guys off Oh man, is it really shaking? It is. <laughs> Sorry. Probably should have found something sturdy to put it on or had someone hold it, but right now I'm by myself, so. All right, so. Once you have all those off, you're gonna carefully take the top off you don't need to cut these or do anything. You can leave those bad boys on. And you open it up. All right, so this is a brand new guy that's never been spun on. Now, this is kind of what it looks like when you've never spun it before. But if you start playing some games on it, what happens is... Let's take, these are the encoders, so... Take these guys off. What happens is, son of a bitch, this is probably one of the best ones I've ever seen. So that's kind of crappy. <laughs> Shit. Okay, awesome. This is actually a really good one. Um, so what happens is, on the other ones, and what you're going to see is it's going to be a, all this copper tape is going to be all bumpled or all uh, smooshed up and crushed up. And the reason why it does that, and the reason why it's probably even difficult for, say, uh, IT or HAP or any of those guys, is, yeah, see, this one would have done it. Because this tape right here is so weak, the adhesive is so weak, that after a while, all this extra copper tape that's all the way down here, and the amount of lubrication that they put inside the bearings now, which makes them last longer and that's all good, but it causes it causes this after just a, a few days of rolling to bunch up and then it gets in front of the rod and in between the ball and that's when you start hearing like loud noises or skips or it causes the roller not to roll and so when you pull back slightly or, or, or softly, it doesn't register. And it's all because of the, the copper tape. So what you just need to do is cut off all the excess, but you want to at least leave just enough, just enough to touch the rods. Yeah, see this guy was pretty loose too, so let's just make sure he's all cleaned up. You only, the, the only reason that copper tape's there is for grounding. 
So you need just enough to touch one of the bearings and you're good to go. All right, so now that you, since you already have it open, you might as well take the ball. I use Windex, but water uh, is the next best thing. I take Windex and I just basically clean all the dust and grease and extra crap that's off the ball because you can see, see the black lines, all that stuff. Usually when it's brand new, you're going to get a lot of that and you just need to go through and clean it all up. I'm just doing a quick one right now for the sake of this video because I got to get it to somebody. But uh, clean it completely and when the ball's completely clean, you know, put it to the side and then since you have the bearings and everything available to you for the first time, uh, these are actually, you can't see it as much, but these are soaked and, uh, I mean, you could, look at that, it's sticking. It literally sticks because there's so much, if it focus, there's so much grease there, it actually is sticking to the top of there and not even coming down, barely. So you just want to clean all that up as well. Normally I would spend like a good like 40 minutes or 30 minutes on each trackball right when I get them. And then they'll last for ever. It's just if it, in the beginning if you don't clean them, there's so much crap there that it collects and, and just attracts dust and everything else. And then it kills the the lifespan of your of that initial new trackball and you don't get that new spin um, feel anymore. Now you could use paper towels for this but once you before you put it back make sure you use a copper uh, or copper make sure you use like a a micro rag or anything that doesn't have uh, little particles or anything left over. If you're out and about you could just simply just use a, a t-shirt or something that isn't going to leave a lot of particles or anything left behind. But again, this is kind of like a real quick uh, overview of how to get in there and do it. And uh, just go ahead and do them all. And once you've completed all of them, again, I got to get this to someone real quick. Once you've completed all of them and also make sure just real quick, you can kind of see, um, maybe you can't because of the light and everything. But in here you can see just gulbs of, of, of lube. That right there is going to attract so much dust and it's going to make your trackball like a ticking time bomb. Again, try not to use paper towels on this stuff because it leaves so much uh, behind. Um, just be mindful of that. So go ahead, put them all in, put them back where they were. Put your trackball back, um, and then just make sure these encoders are put back properly. So you're basically putting them in, and they have little grooves right here. Make sure they're nice and flush when they're in there. If you can see that, see the little grooves right there? Just make sure they're put in there. And then when you're putting them back on top, make sure that the grooves are there on the top as well. Make sure they're both in. You can see right there and right there, both in. And when they're both in, see it'll click like that, it'll snap. Uh, make sure that your, uh, this one's not in. Make sure he's all good. When you're actually doing it out on the field, it's actually, uh, you can un unclick. This guy's gonna be attached to the game. You can undo him and then you could actually bring it to you and it's a lot easier than what I'm, I'm doing right now. Okay, so once they're all in, make sure they don't rub the little encoders inside. Make sure they don't rub. They spin freely, everything's good. Put it all back. Uh, Make sure you, is real important, see this monitor section right there? Make sure that when you're putting it down and, and down, then this is facing 
towards the monitor. It's even got a little arrow there to help you out. All right. Call me, let me know if you guys have any issues.